Nice yeah. shirt though. I know, that's bad. back here at Shannonville Motorsport Park on our Wednesday night drift night where we are going to use the Corvette and all 435 horsepower to test these two tires. We have a 265-35 Zegnova Supersport. Versus a Valino <laughs> Pergia 08R. I mean, just the one is already easier to say, but I've heard that this one is better. So visually looking at them, the tread depth looks to be identical. It's kind of got a similar pattern and we've got a good turnout tonight. So both of them have been sitting in my shop for about six months. So age wise, they're identical. And yeah, we're gonna see how long they last, how much they grip. We're gonna put them at the same tire pressures and we're gonna see um, how they heat cycle, how they uh, peel and, and what, if they chunk, if they don't chunk, whatever. We're gonna see it all today. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Don't need to say anything else. We'll let you know at the end how, uh, what our opinions are. Extended wheel studs on our 5x114 redrilled hubs and rotors. The ARP studs have this nice little pre-start, making it super easy. You could just put this in an impact and put it right on and it's gonna be centered every time. Super handy. We've got our Willwood four piston caliper. We've got our handbrake. Making this car really user friendly for the track. really good what did you say the pressure was at 21 yeah so for 21 psi we just kind of left them at 21 I'm gonna keep it at that 21 psi that's a lot of grip yeah first impression I mean the tire wear I think is really good we did three laps with a little break in between each one so we're gonna do the exact same sequence with the super sports um, do a direct comparison <laughs> Passenger seat boy. Yeah, I've had enough of you. Let a real man drive. <laughs> I'm teaching him. done six laps on the Bellinos. So we're now swapping to the Zegnovas. I'm gonna do an equivalent six laps and then do a comparison. Basically, I have a really good idea of the grip level of these tires. And I wanna get out there immediately after with the Zegnovas so I can do a direct comparison. Like uh, personally and you know, G-force wise and all that good stuff. Six laps. You look good. Does it make a lot of smoke, Jack? 
Or is uh, it meh? It's kind of meh. When you're on throttle in like the... It's because the car has so much mechanical grip, it just yeah. goes. Like the car is so fast. If I wanted to smoke it out, I'd have to left foot or else it just gets around the track. When you're in outer, outer zones, it smokes. And then when you're going from zone to zone, it's not much. Well, I could left foot and I could make a bunch of smoke, but the car just has so much grip. Like the Mustang, all it does is smoke the tire. It's got no grip, it's a straight axle and just spins and goes nowhere. So it's like as if you were left footing the whole time in the Mustang. So the car is impressive. Yeah, yeah. The amount of grip it has is impressive. So. done six laps on the super sports the Zecnovas and my direct comparison is that the tire life so far after six laps on each is the exact same uh, tread depth wise but the grip that I was getting out of the Valino at 21 psi on both sets was quite a bit more uh, noticeable like it was a lot more grip with the Valino side bite forward bite everything but I was told that the Zegnovas were smoking more. Now, this obviously makes sense because if a tire is gripping more, it's gonna be spinning less, and thus the Zegnovas are gonna get a higher surface temperature and smoke more, so that makes perfect sense. But uh, I think that equivalent, like they probably produce the same amount of smoke at the same wheel speed, but the Polinos are taking this one. He was at the beginning of the video too, it's two hours later. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna run them until they're dead, but probably not tonight, just because of how the event's going. It's a little more relaxed, we're trying to take it easy. We talked to everyone that showed up, so six laps, toe to toe, Bellinos are taking it for grip. Um, and that's pretty much what we are after, grip and life expectancy, so. So far, Valinos are winning. Oh, is that me? Not bad. Not bad? Not bad. Camera guy got... Oh! So close. <laughs> That's a wrap for our second Wednesday night drifting. This event, we only drove the Corvette and we compared two sets of tires. I'm giving the win to the Valino tires. There's one thing that we need to do on the Corvette and it's uh, install some adjustable upper control arms to uh, lessen the camber. Right now we're sitting around minus one. That's kind of what happens when you lower the car. So there's a slight amount of camber wear. We're gonna fix that, but the Valinos get the win because they lasted longer, they have more grip, and arguably they're gonna be producing about the same amount of smoke. They, I was told that the Zegnovas made more, but that's because they have less grip and I'm able to spin them more. So not that this is relevant information to anybody. The Super Sports are cheaper, but I'm pretty sure both of them are very difficult to get right now because of COVID and the inflation and shipping. So take it for what it is the Valinos are better whether or not they're going to be priced accordingly is going to be up to probably next year when everything kind of returns back to normal but if money wasn't an option and you had to pick one go with the Valinos you will go faster they will last longer and you will win I don't know if you win yeah and I'm not sponsored by Valino either I'm not technically sponsored by anyone that's it that's it so we're gonna do something different every week maybe next week we'll do I don't know we're gonna have to yeah. we gotta do some comparisons we'll see what that is next week
think of something and that's what we'll do. We'll tell you about it on the next video. That's it for tonight. It's super late and we all got to go back to work in the morning. So have a good night. See you later. I need one. I, I just need a V8 in my life.